let's open this up here, you'll notice that it is opening up uh, our scheduling tool. And I've gone through and I've quickly scheduled a few tasks inside the project. So this is site peg out and site establishment. Uh, you'll notice that I have got a, a, a date associated with it, a duration, a description, and we can also associate people to those tasks and notes uh, associated with that task. And if I went through uh, this uh, file here, I can update these scenes and locations of where they are so that basically, however visually you want to see it, it could be 2D parallel projection or it could be a 3D perspective, but essentially what happens is that it's, it's saving the view according to the time of the project. So if I went to the, say the next one of the underlay of slab uh, footings and getting it ready, and you can change these uh, descriptions uh, very, very quickly, uh, or even change what goes into it. And I'll show you that a little bit as we go down the track. So let's go through the next stage of the job. Uh, we've got poor uh, slab on the ground floor, poor footings over piers would be the predecessor. So essentially if I went back, the predecessor was poor footings over piers and that was a duration of five days. Therefore, my date has now been updated by five days and we've assigned the new task to a new person. We can go through these tasks and see we've got the second floor on there. Uh, we have our steel work, structural steel. Uh, that's gone in there uh, and you know what there could be a hundred tasks in between here okay you see I've got my framing infills uh, my roof framing uh, the brickwork the time the date everything that's associated with it the duration uh, the carpentry and the cladding the roofing MEP it's all done and I'm just going to show you some things so internal fixing, this is just the stages of the project. And we might say, well, this particular outdoor area is going to be done on, on this stage and the start date is the 16th of May, 2020. Right, however, we might, not all companies have a project manager. Smaller companies might need staff to multitask. And I'm just gonna show you some interesting features and abilities that we can do here. So uh, I'm just gonna add in some, some purlins to here. So for this roof out the back. And it is a stage that would be required. And basically I'm gonna virtually add these in and they're quantifying as we go. So Pluspec does a really good job of um, everything that's required. But you'll notice because I was on a stage here that it didn't actually add those purlins in. However, if I went to all, you can see that I have those purlins. So that would be the next stage of the job. So I'm just gonna add a stage and essentially inside of that stage, I'm going to add everything that's required here to do it. Right, so stage 15 will be uh, add purlins to rear roof. And the predecessor is obviously gonna be a rec steel for outdoor area. And the duration to do this might be, I don't know, let's say one day. And we're gonna assign it to somebody. You can import all of your own contractors or people that are involved in doing tasks and the description would be supply and fix purlins. Okay, now this is not a tutorial but essentially now when I go through uh, and have a look at my stages of my project, you'll notice that we have uh, installed the steel and the next stage is to actually uh, install the purlins. Now, all well and good having it inside of a 3D model, and yes, it's good for a project manager to understand things visually, because it does save a lot of time and confusion of how things go together. And all of these purlins could be staged on different dates, or all of the purlins could be staged over two weeks. However, getting this information into a Gantt chart is really important, and that's something that we have done, and we've done really well. I can go and I can export my stages as images, so therefore, if I wanted to send it to somebody who may not have projects, uh, I could just export the images and associate time with those. I could send it to Microsoft Project or I could send it to Gantt Project. Now I'm going to send it to Gantt Project here. Uh, and I'm just going to call it, um, I'm going to call this 5555 because I've already done it. And so I'm going to overwrite a previous one that I've done and go save. So yes. Okay, then I'm going to go to my desktop I'm going to open up Gantt Project, which is, it could be Microsoft Project, it could be 
you know, anything that imports uh, a prospect CSV. Okay, and I'm going to open a new file, import. Uh, I'm going to import my prospect file and go next. I'm going to look for it on my desktop, browse, desktop, and go 555, there it is, and go OK. Right, now we've populated our Gantt chart and we've also populated with the stages of the project, the dates, the start date, the end date. And if we go through this, you'll notice that we're actually, you can see the last day here was add fillings to rear roof. Now, that's a huge time saver for anyone that is trying to coordinate a project. All right, guys, thanks for your time. Cheers.